Welcome back, friends. This time, we are falling into Bastion. Bastion is an action role-playing experience that redefines storytelling and games, with a reactive narrator who marks your every move. Throughout the game, you will explore more than 40 lush, hand-painted environments as you discover the secrets of the Calamity, a surreal catastrophe that shattered the world to pieces. Wield a huge arsenal of upgradable weapons and battle savage beasts adapted to their new habitat. Bastion is a winner of more than a hundred industry awards like Best Original Score and dozens of awards for being one of the best games of 2011. It was the debut from Supergiant Games, creators of Transistor and Hades, and one of my all-time favorites. I can't wait to share the experience with you, so with that, let's wake up. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. All right, we're starting in the rippling walls. And I, as far as this game goes, I'm pretty sure the, the narrator narrates everything that you do, so the game doesn't start until I move. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing away. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Kale Hammer. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling wall. Years of work undone in an instant, in the Calamity. That a survivor. No man, it's a gas fella, forced out from underground. The kid pops him good. The fella got a piece of him though. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that was nice. The kid just rages for a while. I want to collect everything, dude. Peter falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Such a pretty game. I collect all this stuff so we can buy things with it later. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Is that healing? Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Soul regret. <laughs> then Kid finds his trusty shield. Yes. Security takes him for a petty thief. Spe 
special delivery. Gas fellas. <laughs> Bags start turning up for last call. I got him. Got him. Okay. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Shit. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Oh, ow. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Hey, what bud. It's so much too. Is that a cool game? I don't want to smash this guy. Okay. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. The wharf district. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. It's a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. It's, it's, okay, so it's upgrade material. is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. Ouch. Sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. So we got no spirits available. So we got squirt cider, uh, plus ten max health, fermented squirt extract with a nose of stale bread and ocean water, very nutritious. Dread rum, plus ten percent critical hit chance, active only at full health. And fetching fizz, uh, absorb stray fragments. I'll take the squirt cider then. We go to the arsenal. The arsenal is where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. So we're gonna switch. I think the bow is okay for now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. Keep hitting the attack button to dodge. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. <laughs> An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Right back at you. Finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. The kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Run. There we go. We 
presents him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. The Bastion. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. The Stranger. We talk for a spell. Ask about the seal representing the city of Caledonia. Weren't these only meant to be for uniform and identification? There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Core, ask about the large bluish mineral found in the Wharf District. It feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly does it do? All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. Set it on there and watch. Just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Such a cool idea for a game. Kid ponders what to build. Alright, can put the distillery or the arsenal. Save the distillery for now. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Alright, Dread Realm and Fetching Fizz we already know. Hardy Punch. Plus one chance to carry on if defeated. Damage surrounding foes if defeated. That sounds useful. Bear Whiskey, 100% critical chance. I have only one below 33% health, so when you're dying, plus 33% speed while defending. Punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Worst of times. Ain't always much to say. 